Welcome, Pisces. Give me a sec, guys. Let me cut my fan down. So, Pisces, this is going to be a reading for the month of July. So, we're going to see what energy is coming towards you for July. This is going to be July 1st to the 15th. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter, you can use this video. If this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the like button, comment below, and if you're new, subscribe, all right? So let's get some messages and let's see what's going on. What's coming towards Pisces? This is a love reading, guys. I want to feel that way again. Okay, so somebody here is saying that they are becoming a better person. But I feel like this person may be afraid to contact you. Okay, so for some of you, this could be someone that you've dealt with previously. Could be an ex. Yeah, definitely, because they're saying that they want to feel this way again. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's like I'm becoming a better person. I'm afraid to contact you. They're afraid to reach out to you and they want to connect with you again. They want to connect with you. All right, so let's see what messages we get from your person. Give me a message. Tell me what's, what's going on for Pisces for July 1st through the 15th. Pisces has a person who wants to connect with them, but may be afraid to reach out. Tell me more about this person, this situation. And we got the Five of Swords. Ooh, and the Tower. And the Page of Cups, yeah. You may get a, a message, an apology possibly, out of the blue. You and this person could really be in this energy here. This uh, conflict energy. This conflicted energy. Um, this person could be trying to get your attention or has been trying to get your attention. Okay, we got the four of wands. This is someone who you could have a long-term relationship with. Like, you've been with that person for a long time. Or you guys are married to each other. This person here has been having some sleepless nights. They're possibly thinking about you. And then we got the five of wands. There could have been a lot of competition, a lot of disagreements, a lot of... I feel like this person is have, literally having, like, a battle in their head. Could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But they want... They definitely... I feel like they want this ten of cups with you again. With the two of pentacles. This is them juggling. This person could be living a double life here. Okay? Maybe this person was very, very hasty in a decision. Um, but they are spying on you. They are watching you. We got the star. Could be an Aquarius. Tell me more. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone from the past. Okay, it could be a King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like this is you and this Queen of Swords energy. Like, you've been being really closed off towards this person. Um... You're just not available, okay? I feel like this person wants to come around and put some type of effort in, but they're dragging their feet to do this. It may have been a while since you've reached out or talked to this person, but I feel like they're coming in with some type of commitment or um, feelings of like wanting to uh, do the right thing. So let's see, tell me more. I feel like you and this person may have gotten into a disagreement, a really big disagreement in the past. Two of Pentacles, yeah. You may be on again, off again with this person. Like I said, this person does want to contact you out of the blue, okay? I feel like some of y'all are going to get a message. Four of Cups, yeah. I don't feel like you want to be in, you don't really care for this person. Like we have Four of Cups. 
So this is like, mm, no, not really. No, no. But we got the lovers here. I don't, I feel like this person missed the opportunity with you. I feel like the passion may be going from this situation. But I do feel like you may have wanted this Ten of Pentacles with this person. Um, this long term a marriage. Uh, you want to go all the way with this person, but this person, I feel like you may have, have invested in this person, may have invested a lot of money, a lot of time, but this person may have had some options and they may have abandoned you and left you out for, left you out in the cold um, for a third party possibly. Maybe some of you... Being that you're Pisces, I feel like some of you um, used your intuition and you had this feeling that this chapter was coming to an end. I feel like this is a connection um, that you were in and it brought a lot, like I'm, I'm getting a lot of attention. I'm getting for some of you, this is a marriage or a long-term command. Like you've been with this person for a long time, but it was really stressful. So this is why you're in this Four of Cups energy. Like, no, I'm good on I'm good on that. I'm good. And see, somebody here is wanting to collaborate and work together now. Some of you may be in a new connection already. We got the Ace of Cups. So your guard is up. I feel like you don't trust this person. This person definitely uh, stabbed you in the back, betrayed you in some way, sense of form, and you don't feel comfortable around this person. This person walked away from you or you walked away from them. I feel like you found out some type of truth in the matter. Um, some type of truth for sure, for sure came out. Could be involving a cancer. Yeah, you found out that this person is a liar. That this person is a cheat. This person is sneaky. Here they come. They want to put in the effort. Okay. They want to put in some type of effort. Um, with the seven of wands, they're really going, they really want to go hard. But it's something like they feel stuck or there's something that they are stuck in. Um, they could also feel like it's a lot of work that needs to be put in or a lot to um a lot of work that needs to be done to bring this connection back to life we got the queen of pentacles ace of pentacles okay so this person could feel like you're very very career driven or you're focused on your your money right now but i do feel like they feel like it's so much work that needs to be done like i feel like uh, I feel like they're just looking at everything that needs to be done, the work that needs to be put in to fix this connection. And they, they, they feel like, oh, this is a lot. Okay, like this is a lot. Like I'll have to go through so much. Maybe they feel like you're making, this, the, making it difficult. In your hopes and fears, Pisces, we got the moon and the three of wands, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and the three of wands here. I feel like I feel like you turned your back on this connection. I feel like there's too many secrets. For some of you, there is talks of a divorce. Okay, there is talks of a divorce. Someone could possibly have moved out. I feel like some type of truth came out. Somebody could have made an offer that someone refused. Okay. We got the devil here. Could be a Capricorn, King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But uh, I'm getting a lot of sex could have been going on here. Sex magic. I'm seeing that as well. But definitely for sure. Like I'm getting someone deciding that some someone here is playing mind games. For sure. Somebody's playing mind games here until the truth got out. Okay, so the truth got out. I feel like you turned your back. It's just too many secrets. And the outcome to this, Pisces, we got the judgment. So some of you could be giving this person a second chance. Um, the judgment is second chances, but this is also um, being judged or feeling like you're being judged. This is also second chance, judgment day, like a judgment day. 
And this is a wake up call as well. Now we got the five of pentacles and the and the seven of cups. Somebody could feel like it's not a good decision to give this a second chance, but somebody here is waiting or being very patient for this ten of pentacles again. Somebody wants this ten of pentacles here. All right, so let's get some uh, clarifiers. Let's get some clarifiers. Please clarify these messages for Pisces, please, for July 1st through the 15th. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords? The Star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Oh, and the Four of Cups. Okay. So, I feel like you guys have lost hope in a situation. It's too much drama. It's too much back and forth. Like, you don't see... Some of you haven't even healed... From the damage that was done in this situation it's like you're like a no and then we got the star here as well too could be an aquarius for sure but somebody was too hasty somebody was too quick to do something and you may have felt like this person should have waited or you waited for this person um but they just moved too fast they're too hasty. Tell me more about the Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. We got King of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords here. Could be dealing with the Virgo towards Capricorn, but someone could have possibly like stolen something from you, took something of value from you, um, or this is someone who um, could be an Earth sign who was being very deceptive, okay? I feel like you now know your worth, okay? I feel like in this situation, maybe you didn't, um, maybe somebody played with, played with you, you know, like tried to make you feel low. I feel like this is your energy here. Like you're okay with being single or being, you're, you're focused on your finances, your career, your looks, like you're putting you together, okay? I feel like you turned your back on this connection. From this person on the past, you cut you cut them off. You cut them off. I'm not sure. I feel like you're looking at the situation in disgust. Why is the star here? Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Page of Cups. I feel like we got the Moon and the Two of Wands here. I feel like, like I said, I feel like there are some secrets here. It's too much secrets. Too secretive. Somebody could have been dealing with the Queen of Wands, Pisces. I'm sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone could be coming. This person is coming towards you, trying to find out information, trying to find out who you're dealing with, who you're sleeping with. Are you sleeping with someone? I feel like you have definitely moved on. Or you are trying to heal so you can move on from this connection. You're focused on your pentacles. For some of you, this is a husband or a wife. I feel like for some, this is a marriage. But I feel like this person comes out of the room and wants to communicate with you. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Very conflicted. I feel like you may have, um, you feel conflicted. Okay, we got the Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So, very much so conflicted. I feel like this is a one again, off again thing, possibly. Um, you feel like you're at a crossroad in this situation. I do feel like you are gaining some type of... Ooh, yeah. You, you, for some of you, if you haven't found out the truth about the person that you're dealing with, there is, it's coming. Okay, we got the Tower and the Five of Swords. Okay. Whew. Somebody owes somebody an explanation of some sort. Why is the Five of Swords in the Tower here? Whew. The Hermit. Yeah. The Hermit. Could be dealing with the Virgo. But somebody took a, a big ass risk. Somebody did something boldly. Like they just didn't care. 
Somebody's just like showing that they didn't care. They end up end up regretting it. You're gonna end up regretting it. Tell me more about the four of cups. Yeah, it's like you you didn't wanna you was disappointed because maybe you were waiting for this person to make a decision on uh, what they wanted to do, what move they were gonna make, and they just made a hasty ass decision. Like maybe you were waiting for somebody to choose you. Or waiting for somebody to... I'm getting waiting for somebody to make up their mind. Lots of decisions here. Like, one again, off again. This person was really hasty. Once again, King of Pentacles. This person is a liar, cheat, sneak. Okay? Here they come with this aggressiveness. These issues. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Two of Wands. And the lovers to be a Gemini. Be careful of this person because they got the magician and the five of wands. This person could be coming at you to try to make you mad, to try to piss you off, to try to start a pot. Um, and then this jumped out, the nine of wands. So spirit is saying this is some type of warning. I feel like this person is coming towards you, wanting to collab with you, wanting to work with you. Um and I'm getting a decision that needs to be made. There's that five of swords again. This person, I'm telling you, like this person, yes, look at this. This person is coming towards you with this five of swords energy. You got to be careful of this person because I just feel like this person is manipulative as hell. Like for sure. They're manipulative and they play mind games. Just for them to turn around and leave, like, mm -mm. They want to come see what you're working on, see what you're doing, see they're coming to spy. They're coming to spy on you. They want to come around to spy on you. And they want to see how much you're progressing, how far along you're going, how far you've come. And so they can get the information that they need so they can make their next move. I'm telling you, don't trust this person. Yeah, the temperance. Okay, so... I feel like you're trying to heal from this past. You're trying to find balance in the situation. And as soon as you heal, here they come. Here they come. As soon as you heal. This person... Could possibly don't want to see you with someone else. They're holding on to you. Could be holding on to you because you have some type of new beginning or new start for you. Could be a new home. Um, maybe you're in a new relationship. Um, you're doing very well. And this person could be in their Ten of Wands energy. Like nothing is going in their favor. You could be getting a lot of attention. And this person just does not want to see you doing better. Yeah, permit. Here they come. Gathering information. Okay. Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Nothing's going in their favor, just like I said. I feel like you found out the truth about this person. Could be an Earth sign um, or a Libra Gemini Aquarius. And somebody, you're just not happy. You just weren't happy in this situation. So we got the judgment. Yeah, see, the judgment is the Three of Swords. And the death core, okay? Some of you are done being hurt. Some of you are done being hurt. Are done with uh, being in a third party situation. Some, see, this is you, the Empress and the Ten of Cups. See, like, you're focused on yourself. You're loving yourself. You're giving yourself everything that you desire. But this person is over here in their regret energy feeling um regretful on how they treated you okay yeah four of swords i feel like you're you're done putting in effort you're tired of putting in effort and not getting any good results you're always the one end up with a with a broken heart so it's like no i'm not going to be stuck in this energy okay this person is afraid to contact you 
They are. They're nervous about how it's going to go. Okay. Um, but they do want to contact you. But for what? So they can lay all their burdens on you? Uh-uh. No. No. You're in your abundance. And they're over here with this Ten of Wands energy. No. Mm -mm. This is their energy. <laughs> They can't seem to get nothing right. You got new beginnings for you. Look at this. The Fool and the Ace of Cups. You have new beginnings for yourself. Like, and see, this person may have been called you or reached out to you in a while. Um, but even when this person does reach out to you, I feel like a lot of you are not going to respond. Um, some of you have changed your number. You want to change your number. You may, this person made you wait for too long to call or reach out. So it's like, yeah, I don't even want it. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you can stay where you're at. I feel like some of you are going to say, stay right where you're at. I'm good, okay? All right, so let's get some advice. It's like, mm -mm, this person coming towards you because they see you doing good. They see you got stuff going on. They see that you're healing. And then they want to come and interrupt it. Like, no. Like, uh, no. Um, I don't even understand why my daughter is in there screaming. Like, she's singing. And she's singing so loud. Okay, let's see. What advice do we have for Pisces? Recovery. Just like I said, like some of you guys are healing from what all the damage that was done previously. And now this person wanna just come back in and you're trying to heal. You're recovering from from uh, this situation. Within the next few weeks, here they come. They're coming. They are coming. They're coming. Within the next few weeks. And it's going to be up to you. The decision is going to be up to you. The Spirit is saying, look, ask your angels, okay? Meditate. Because I don't see any good intentions. Big happy changes that I told you. Like things are going to be on the up and up for you. And this person wants to come around because they see you doing good. Improving health. Yeah. They see that you're better. You've recovered from the damage that they've done. And here they come. They want to come around when you're when you're uh over it and, and you're in your abundance, just like I said. Look, you're in your abundance, and here they come. No, mm -mm. they'll come around and do more damage. I'm hearing her. You could do damage. You, you could do damage. Yeah, like, mm -mm. nah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that because I feel like you guys have worked hard on recovering from a situation. This person has put you in possibly a ten of swords energy. So screw them. They don't get to come back and then mess mess up your progress. What do they want to say? What do they want to say to Pisces? Mastery. Awakening. Healing. Then I tell you. Unavailable. So right now. Somebody's unavailable. This could be you. could be them. Somebody's unavailable. Somebody here could be going through an awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Mastery. You've learned your spiritual lesson. So I feel like this is this person. I feel like they're going through some type of awakening, some type of spiritual awakening. And they're learning the lesson in this situation. But I feel like this is you. I feel like you're healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. And I feel like until you... I feel like you need to be unavailable to this person. Especially if you are still in the stages of healing. 
Okay, we got to play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. And then we got finances. See, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are uh, really extremely focused in on your finances here. We got strictly sexual. This person could be coming around because they want sex with you. Okay, but that's all they want. That's all they want. Boundaries. This is you. I feel like you're setting up boundaries at this point in time. Like, nothing will go back to how it was. Self-care. I told you. You're going to be so, so further ahead to where you're going to be noticing all the red flags. You're going to set your boundaries up for a lot of you. This is a marriage for some. This is a marriage that's involved. And this person is unavailable to you. And I feel like it's, it's that way for a reason. Because I feel like spirit wants to get you. Um, there's a lesson that you need to learn in this situation. And that you need to heal from. I feel like you um, are going to come out of this understanding that you need to set boundaries for yourself. And you're going to be paying, be more aware of warnings when they come to you. Because sometimes, you know, people get warnings. And when you're in love or when you're dealing with somebody, sometimes we dismiss those warnings because we got our head so far up <laughs> another situation. Um, Spirit is saying, look, I'm waking you up to these things. All right. Like this person is on some BS. What does this person want to say to Pisces? I'm so scared. I can't face you right now. I told you. They don't want to face you. They do not want to face you. They're scared. Can you accept me as I am? And they want you to wait for them. I'm sorry for what I said. They want to come in with an apology. But they're scared. They're scared to come towards you. This says, I'm going to contact you. I need to speak to you. But I'm not stable right now. Let me fix this. I'm so scared. I can't face you right now. Can you accept me as I am? I'm sorry for what I said. So they want to come in and apologize. But if they're going to do it, that's another story for another day. All right, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Um, as well, guys, if you are interested in booking a personal the information to contact me in regards to personal is in the drop box below as well guys you can check out my website guys um all of that information is in the drop box below you get 20 percent off your entire order today if you book if you order today you can get 20 percent off your entire order all right so until next time guys ciao